Okay, now that's because we have this nice long lever here, and as strong as Nick is, it's a it's a fairly uh, we got the fulcrum up here, and the leverage is is, is sudden. Nick points at that blackboard there, and he's not going anywhere. All right, so that 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 arm has suddenly become I can do chin ups on that arm now. <laughs> Okay, so even though we have the same structure, the internal relationship has changed. And suddenly we have this incredible power that is used more effectively. Now, we do the same thing. Okay, Nick, I want you to think about your finger. Okay, just point that in his finger, but think about it. And notice when you think about it, what happened? I wasn't thinking about resisting too much. And you're, but you're also the, the, the whole structure. Your, your, your awareness goes to the finger, right? Mm -hmm. the, as Boober says, the, I'm not participating. My finger and I aren't participating together at that point. It, the experience is happening in me, or in this case, in Nick. And she's, what happens is when you think about that finger, you are creating a separation between yourself and that which you are thinking about or objectifying. You have moved into a different state of consciousness. You've moved into an object-based state of consciousness. We go back to just feel your finger, okay? Just point that finger and feel it, and we're back to rock solid. Non-objective awareness. They're just now. Okay? If you just stand there and you just point your index fingers, just to put them down to your side here and just point and just feel into that. And notice that within a couple of seconds, there are no thoughts. There's just now. I want everybody to try that. Just, 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 just point your index fingers. Feel your fingers. Don't think about them. Just feel them. And notice that within a couple of seconds, your mind is clear. You're in the space between thoughts. And that's because the energetic coherence that is generated by this calms the nervous system and all that chatter that goes on, ah, it quiets down. Because your nervous system says, oh yeah, we are back in wholeness again. Going back to David Bohm, but it's not, the wholeness isn't just the big, the big wholeness, it's like what Leslie says, he talks about holarchies, that is a hierarchy of holons, of wholenesses. There are wholenesses within wholenesses within wholenesses. And each of those wholenesses takes on an identity and an agency. It's an it. But it's also, if, you, if it is aware, then it's also you. So then we go from here to, we have... You point that in, so going from energetic coherence, we go to mindfulness. Now mindfulness basically means you know what's going on. I am bringing my mind to what's going on. And so a very simple way of, of, of being mindful is to say, what game am I playing now? So as you're, if you're pointing your index finger, you say, oh, what game am I playing out? And then you say, oh, okay, I'm playing the game of pointing my index finger, and Rex is going to push on me, and, and holy smokes, I'm nailed to the ground. Right? If, uh, <laughs> right, it's like there's no, that all that, the, the, that disappeared, the, the, the weakness that was there before, the, the, the fragility, it's gone. There is no fear in a state of wholeness. The wholeness only, the fear kicks in only whenever the story kicks in, and the story kicks in only whenever you're in experiential mode. So in the non, in the non-objective awareness, there is no story. There is no object. There is only you. Okay? So we go from wholeness to presence. Presence just means I'm here now. As Ram Dass said years ago, be here now. Okay. You are saying, whatever, when you're present, you're saying, I'm going to occupy this space, this time. I am present. So the question to ask here is, where am I now? So you think that, you say, where am I now? And you say, here.
here I am. Here I am is a, is a non-objective way of doing it. You're not saying, oh, I'm in this room, we're talking to these people, blah, blah, blah. That's a story. You say, here I am. It's an absolute location. You're saying, now. You're saying, here. Where is here? Oh, I am in this room with the chandeliers. And, uh. But that's, then we're in the story. We, when we shift it into an object-based, experiential, I-it mode. All right? And then the final thing is, once you know you're here, then you say, hey, I need something to play with. I need a partner in this. So then you say, where are you now? Here you are. <laughs> okay, and when we do that, what happens? Boom. Meeting. That's when we move into the process of engagement. So those four steps can be done with a sequence, and you, you do need to be in a state of wholeness. Buber says, when I meet you with my whole being, you need to be in a state of wholeness just to get this process started. But luckily, we just point our index fingers and <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> superhuman strength. Bingo. Notice too that we also are doing something here. By doing that, Nick is now connecting up to the big chi. The, uh, his base is, hasn't changed, but what's happened is that there is a link to earth energy, what we call in Tai Chi, root. It's automatically created as a result of this energetic coherence. If I say, okay, Nick, I want you to tell me about your hand as we're doing this. Good. Uh, don't even have to, <laughs> he doesn't have to start. Just the shift into the object-based awareness, object-based consciousness, he is, he's weakened. He is split out and the energy is fragmented. And then we just say, oh no, this, where are you now? Here you are, you know, and we're back to, we're back to that superhuman strength. Okay, yes? Can you just outline the four steps, sorry if I missed that. Sorry, what? You said there are four steps. Four steps. Coherence. Right. Mindfulness. Okay. Presence. <laughs> engagement. Thank you. Okay. And part of that process of slowing everything down and looking for what works is I have to break that, break that stuff down and say, okay, presence is not engagement. Mindfulness is not presence. They may lead to each other, but they are not the same thing. Coherence is not the same thing. These are all separate qualities, and here I'm using that is word, but they are, and they're not. You know, they, uh, as, as, as um, Mel was saying, you know, the Kurzybski, you know, the map is not the territory it represents. Its only value comes in how it allows us to, uh, it, the way it ma the map matches up with the territory. So the territory that we're talking about is a very insubstantial territory. It's a, it's a, it, it's, shape-shifting. And so whatever language we use actually has to be pretty precise with the same time knowing that the assumption is that all words are lies anyway. We start with that. Some are, some are less lies than others. Some point us in the direction of something which is true. What is true? That. <laughs>